What is good, my beautiful broken people? It's your boy Ben Piggies, and do you want to know how I went from this guy to this guy? Well, I'm gonna tell you all the tips and tricks or everything I did specifically for me to achieve this. All right, so we're gonna go through all the old school ways of how to do this. You know, you see, you know, you need to know what protein is, and that's like one gram per and and one gram equals four calories. Carbs is one gram equals four calories, and then fats is one gram equals nine calories. And then you got this, you know, formula to do the old, this old school way. But we're gonna scratch that. All right? You see this? You see this right here? Yeah. We're just gonna. We live in a new world now. Okay? The Gen Zers, the technology age. So we don't need that no more. Okay? All we need is you either need a phone or you need uh, yourself a tablet and uh, we're gonna get right to it. So, you're gonna open up your phone, you're gonna go onto the interwebs, and you're gonna type in calculator.net slash calorie dash calculator dot html. All right, and that's gonna get you right here, okay? Not sponsored, but calculator.net, and you'll get to right here, okay? So, easiest, fastest way to set up your calories and macros, because you need that, all right? so. I definitely needed that in order to figure out how to find the calorie and macros for me to lose weight or uh, lean out. So we type in first, you see, right, there's a, the there's a space, I'm going to put it on the screen for you, okay? So you'll see on the space right here, you'll be able to see there's age, gender, height, weight, and activity, all right? And then you'll just input all that information so I'll put in my information don't look at the age don't look at the height I'm like you know I'm six foot eight just so you know um, and then here we go so obviously I work out way too damn much um, here we go and then you press the calculate and it will calculate for you all right so you'll see right for me to maintain weight if I don't if I don't want to lose or gain anything at all, I'm at 31, 35 calories. And then if I want mild weight loss, it's 0.5. Uh, I mean, mild weight loss is 0.5 uh, pounds lost per week. And that's 2,800. And then if I want to lose one pound a week, that's 2,600. Uh, and then if I want to lose two pounds a week, that's 2,100. Any more than that is a bit too much. Okay, so you want to keep it at that nice level right there. They give you, they go on with a little bit more details of what you would like, right? You can also go into like a uh, macro macro generator, but I like to move on from this, right? So once I got my general information, I go and I find and download this app that everyone should know, My Fitness Pal. You can use any any food tracker app that you want. I just happen to use My Fitness Pal. Got it? So into My Fitness Pal. You type, you go, you press that little calorie area. You see that? Boom, calorie area. And then it will tell you nutrients, it will tell you calories, nutrients, and macros, all right? And we're gonna go over to where it says calories, and that's where you input what the uh, calculator.net told you, all right? So if I was to put in, and I wanted to, um, let's go with weight loss, uh, extreme weight loss 2135 okay so I'm gonna type that in here we go 2135 boom and then enter so now we're good and we'll go back and now it's it'll say those are my calories if it will save it 2135 save boom okay and then you can also go in and uh, percentage out or divvy up where your macros want to be. Like if you want to have more protein, less protein, more carbs, less carbs, more fats, less fats, you get the idea. We want to keep your fats at a good level. I like to keep mine around 60 grams or above so that I can maintain my hormone balance. But you also need carbs because I do a lot of boxing, uh, endurance athlete, uh, a lot of high 
activity, vo volume of activity. I want my carbs a little higher than normal, okay? Because, you know, your boy not trying to gas out. So we can also change the percentage of that, right? So if I want, you know, a little bit less, more, less protein, more, more carbs, right? Just do that, boom, it'll somewhat, some, for some reason, it will save eventually, but I don't care right now. Okay, so there, and it'll do that. All right, so then I'll go, and you can look, that's where everything lies. So once you figure that out, you put that, you input what if, what your goal is, right? To gain weight, lose weight. You put that into the MyFitnessPal, and then you start tracking your foods. Very easy to track your foods. Your food scale, and then measure it. Type it in, right? Like say if I wanted to put like egg or what, what do I have in here? Oh look, I put like um, oatmeal. Boom, and I wanted 100 grams of oatmeal. Boom. Right, 100 grams of oatmeal. They, they lay it all out for you. They lay it all out for you. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, so it's one, 100 grams of oatmeal is 375 calories, 68 carb, six uh, fat, and 12 protein. And then you start, you know, keep adding things in, keep adding things in, and then you figure out, you, know, you add, keep adding until you reach a limit. You don't want to go over your limit, or you don't want to go under your limit. And just a little bit is okay, right? Like five, 10, 15 is okay. Anything more than that, then you're probably um, not doing it right. All right, so that was the basics. That's what I started with. Hi, I would like to interrupt this moment to also say that I gave myself a cheat day every two weeks. You hear that? Two weeks. The reason being was, you know, you need your body to have a little downtime, relax from all of that stress of dieting, if you are dieting. But uh, also, I only did it every two weeks because it takes about three days for your body to renormalize. If you go back to, after your cheat day, you go back to eating your regular diet. So, we want you know more progress, so that's why I did two weeks, every two weeks, instead of one week, because you only get three days of, you know, maybe like two days of, let's see, carry one, minus seven, okay, so seven minus three, four, so you basically only get four days of progress, right? I want more days of progress. That's it. Continue. Then the more complicated parts. Then I started, uh, well, obviously we have to exercise, okay? So the easiest part is, I'm gonna go with the easier part, right? The easier part is to set up your workout schedule. I work out, obviously you saw I work out almost every day. So six times a week with one rest day or active rest day. I do, uh, I do my stretching, do yoga, do boxing, obviously, I do running, and I do my strength training, okay? All of that I fit into my schedule. Your program may be a little bit different, that's why you input the amount of workouts you do per day, per week. Got it? And then it will calculate that for you. Then, I specifically, uh, to, to get to my goal physique, I use this method called, you may have heard of it, it's called meal prepping. So I spend about three hours, two to three hours on Sunday and uh, cook up all my food for the week, divvy it up in these little, nice cute little uh, to-go containers, right? And then that's my meals for the week and that's my, and that's only for um, lunch and dinner. Breakfast is usually the same. I have my protein oatmeal, proats, you know what I mean? Um, and so I try to keep everything as consistent as possible. You may have an issue with that. I don't have an issue eating the same damn thing over and over again, as long as it tastes good, okay? If you don't have that issue, be my guest, and you can do that too. But you can also meal prep different things, or you can just cook different things, as long as you can measure them out and fit it into your, uh, you know, calories and macros for the day, for the week, okay? So just make sure you stay consistent. Everything is about consistency, right? The more you can stabilize consistency, the more progress you're gonna make. Uh, the more progress you're gonna make, the more you're gonna, you know, look better, feel better, you know, ultimately reach your goal. And that's all we want, right? For you to reach your goal, I have laid out, I've given you the simple information and all the stuff that tips and tricks that I use to get there. If you do use this, let me know. Or if you have any more questions, let me know. 
And if this helps you, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and don't forget to visit BetPinkies.fit to get you some sweet gear. And as always, your boy Ben Pinkies, out.